Hello and welcome to Trojan Sports Now. I'm Brianna Dome and it's great to have you guys back after the Hurricane Michael. And I'm Antonio Reese. Stick around as we bring you the latest news and scores from Troy Athletics. The Trojan football team took on the Georgia State Panthers in front of a national TV audience and continue their winning ways. The Trojans pounced all over the Georgia State Panthers Thursday to go 3-0 in conference play. The men managed to have a dominating first quarter going 14-0, even with only having one full practice this week. Head coach Neil Brown on the win. Gutsy win. Um, I, I'm proud of our guys uh, uh, as players and staff on a short week. Um, I, I was really I was impressed with what they did. I thought it was gutsy. We had, the collateral damage was high in this game. We had several guys that went down. And we always talk about a next man up um, attitude, and I thought we did that. Well, we got a lot of guys kind of banged up right now. So uh, right now we're going to just work on getting everybody back healthy. Uh, Liberty is a pretty good team. Um, so we're going to work on defensively uh, keeping the quarterback from scrambling mobile. And other than that, just getting the guys healthy and get back playing good ball. Now many players will not complain about a win, but this game was one of the most injury-packed games since last season. I was impressed with um, how well the guys that got hurt responded and really helped the guys that came in and played. Uh, this break, this couple day break, comes at a good time. Um, beating up, and it's hard. You play six games in a row, and the six was on a short week. Um, probably in the four years, probably had more injuries in this game. Um, the only other one that was close was the Arkansas State game last year. And one of those injuries happened to be starting quarterback Caleb Barker. However, Sawyer Smith did not disappoint his teammates in his absence. Uh, it, was, it was pretty annoying to me because I've been working with Sawyer for about two years now, so uh, it wasn't nothing, nothing different. But uh, yeah, he, he stepped up and uh, did what he had to do with the next man up. The men get this Saturday to recover before heading back on the road. The Trojan soccer team picked up an important road victory on Friday. The Trojans defeated Georgia Southern 2-1 in the match in Statesboro, making her first their first career start. French at freshman Britt Elmore scored her first career goal in the 14th minute. Kendra Cashing notched Troy's second and deciding goal of the match in the 37th minute. Haley Mercer posted three critical saves, earning her first win of the season in the goal. Moving along to some volleyball, Cheyenne Hayes put away 22 kills to help lead Troy to a four-set win over Louisiana Friday night as the Trojans ended a four-game skid. Troy ended a five-game regular season Sunbelt losing streak dating back to 2017 with the win. The Trojans took the opening two sets before finally clinching the match in the fourth. Hayes' monster game matched her career high and marked her 16th straight double-digit match. She ranked fifth in the league in the category, entering the weekend. The sophomore also tied for the team lead with 17 digs on the day. Also turning in 17 digs was setter Amara Anderson, who recorded the ninth double-double of her freshman season with 48 assists. Her 48 assists in four sets is tied for the eighth most in a single game by any player in the conference this season. The ladies then wrapped up a perfect weekend road trip with a four-set conference victory over ULM and Fant Ewing Coliseum Saturday night. Following that big win at Louisiana on Friday night, Troy carried that momentum into Monroe and cl clinched another solid victory in Sunbelt Conference play, defeating the Warhawks 3-1. For the fourth match in a row, Troy took a first set win. The Trojans dropped the second set, but bounced back in a big way to take sets 3-4. and four. Troy climbed three spots thanks to a pair of individual rounds under par in Sunday's final round of the David Toms Intercollegiate at the University Club in Baton Rouge. The Trojans finished ninth overall, and Connor from Trail paced the Troy individuals in 13th place. Troy fired the third best round of the day to close out play as teams finished a rain shortened second round and then followed with the entire third round on Sunday. The Trojans shot three over in the third round to jump a trio of teams after a rocky day on the course Saturday. Ike Alexander and Jake Tiffin both finished in the red Sunday with rounds of one under Tiffin carded three birdies over a five hole stretch towards the end of his round after dropping a three on the, on the par five 17th. Alexander birdied four holes in the final round around a trio of bogeys for his first round under par this season. Futrell finished with seven birdies over the three rounds and shot four over with a pair of even par rounds sandwiched around a 76 in round two for his second 13th place finish in as many events this season. Three top five finishes allowed the Troy women's cross country team to finish first overall while the men's team took third place in a 10-team field at the Watson Ford Invitational at Choctaw Trails on Saturday morning. The women racked up 41 points to secure the team title in the 10-team lineup. 
The men scored 78 points with Tarleton State and Mississippi College finish, finishing first and second, respectively. For her third consecutive race, freshman Caroline Sal paced the Trojans with a second place finish. Sophomore Kara Coulter followed behind Sal in the 6K race, crossing the third finish line in third. The fellow sophomore Christy Car Caruana turned in a fifth place finish in her first race of the season. Senior Kristen Geary set a personal record which gave her 13th out of 78 runners. Sophomore Michaela Ashley rounded out the Trojan lineup, finishing 18th overall. Celia Monero Estevan won the Flight C singles title, while Estevan and Maria Casas Blas teamed up to take the Flight B doubles crown on Sunday in the Mercer Gridiron Classic in Macon, Georgia. Estevan topped her doubles partner 7-6 and 7-6 to compete the five-match sweep in Flight C. The duo came together to defeat Worthy Goldman and Maria Popova of Alabama State in the doubles finals. Freshman Shun Yi Juo fell just short in the Flight B finals, falling 3-6, 6-3, and 6-7 to Mercer's Celine Shepherds. On the second day of the Mercer Gridiron Classic, Troy secured wins in singles and doubles play, led by senior Jackie Duan, who won a pair of singles matches in the singles consolidation bracket. Juan defeated two opponents to advance into semifinals of the consolidation singles draw. He picked up a win against Drew Leahy from Kennesaw State, 63 and 76, and against Guillermo August from Jacksonville State University, 62 and 64. In the semifinals, Duan lost in a three-set thriller, 2 to 6 and 76. Sophomore George Peotos won his singles match against Fernando Guardia from Mercer University, 3 to 6 and 63. Freshman duo of Lewis Fox and Trey Whitaker saw action in singles consolidation brackets, where Fox defeated Sebastian Osorio from Kennesaw State in a three-set match, 76 and 67. Following that match, Fox fell to Federico Dani from North Florida, 6 to 1 and 6 to 0. Trey Whitaker was very close against Oscar Sol from Florida State, but fell in three sets, 5 to 7, 6 to 0, and 1 to 0. Shaz Pirani and Ignacio Rodriguez dropped their matches in three and two sets. The Troy men's basketball team has finalized the 2018-2019 non-conference schedule featuring seven home contests as announced by head coach Phil Cunningham on Tuesday morning. Cunningham said that he's trying to challenge the team this year with the non-conference schedule this season and the team just might have that challenge with matches against the likes of Florida State, University and Pitt along with a three-game six-day road trip featuring St. Louis and a trip to New York to play in the Barclays Center Classic. The Trojans tip off November 6th in Trojan Arena against the Wildcats of Fort Valley State. Still to come on Trojan Sports Now, we'll have a preview of the Trojan football team's matchup against Liberty. But first, Brianna sits down with men's basketball center Alex Hicks. Stick around for more Trojan Sports Now.